All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on everyone, Ancap24 here from huddle.gg. In today's video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite wide receiver screens in all of Madden 21. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification to make sure you never miss any of our uploads. The play is called PAFL screen. It comes out of the gun wide trio offset week. It can be found in three different playbooks. We actually showed you a really nice cover three bomb with the sluggo play out of this formation a couple days ago. Um, so this can be found in the Baltimore Ravens playbook, one that you guys know that I'm using currently and having a lot of fun with, just did a couple game plans on our website with. The other two formations, the other two playbooks that this can be found in is the Saints and the Texans. So if you guys are looking for a playbook to use, you like this play, definitely check out one of those three um, great way to start your offense. The reason why I like this, it's very annoying. It's something that can be done very easily against a lot of people that play a lot of zone and a lot of people that like to drop their zones deep. That's one thing in Madden 21 that's an advantage to the defense. They can take away corners, they can take away crossers, depending on how deep they put their zone depths. And we want to start looking at plays to make sure that they have to think twice about dropping those zones. As simple as that, right? And this is one of them. Now, the thing is, is that um, depending on which way you throw the ball to the screen, you're going to have a different release uh, speed from your quarterback. A right-handed quarterback throwing to the right side is going to take longer than a right-handed quarterback throwing to the left. So what I like to do is I typically like to have this on the right hash because I want to slow the throw down to the short side of the field, and I want to speed the throw up to the wide side of the field. So this is against cover three. And what you're going to see is that I'm just going to throw it out here. And you're going to see that you're going to have a really nice opportunity a lot of the times just to have a hat on a hat. As simple as that, two players out there, we got two blockers. You can see that Lane Johnson will oftentimes um, get out there and basically you know, clear the way. Um, and if you have a really fast tackle, which I definitely um, would suggest in the Ravens playbook because of the quarterback runs in there, um, there's plays that where the tackle really gets out in front. I like to have an underrated thing is to have a fast tackle um, and these are the type of plays that you want, right? So you can see this time he gets out there a little bit more. You can see that he's just going to knock people over and you're going to have an easy catch. This is against cover three to the short side of the field. Now I'm going to go to the wide side of the field and I want to show you the difference between the quarterback's release. I don't have to turn my body. I just can whip it out there. So it's different. Jeffrey's not probably the best, um, you know, as far as a uh, receiver that can get up the field really quickly, but we're going to use them anyways. And what I want to see here is typically you're going to lead him to the inside rather than, you know, because of the way you can throw it. So watch what happens here. I can just whip it out there. And now you're going to see that you've got the ability to kind of just get some yards. Now, this isn't going to be one of those that, you know, you're going to, you know, uh, get 30, 40 yards on a play, but this is an annoying play that people are going to have to start figuring out ways to change their defense to make you stop. They're going to have to start calling different, um, you know, uh, underneath coverages, which is going to open up other plays. It's one that you want to throw in there just to make sure that they have to adjust. Let's go to cover two now, just so you can kind of see that it does work in cover two as well. Short side of the fields here. You're going to see that we're going to get this guy outside and you can see that we're going to have the ability to get people just, you know, down the field. There is an ability where your, uh, you can put on your lineman that has the ability to you know, excel in blocks on screen plays. This is one of them that you may want to take a look at. You know, If you're looking at um, putting one on your tackle, it's going to be one of those that you definitely want to look. See, I, I usually on cover two, wait on it. You can see here that we're just setting up the blocks, right? This play is just one of those fun ones that I just like to do. Um, and that's what the Ravens playbook is for me, to be honest with you. I just have a lot of fun running it. You know, it's one of those that you just have a lot of things that you make the defense have to worry about. So here's cover two to the wide side of the field. Again, I can just fling it out there. And I like to take it inside a lot of times just because I know that um, you, you're going to have a quicker throw. I'm going to throw it here, do cover two. So to the wide side, and when I see that it's cover two, you'll see that I like to take it inside rather than outside. So here you go again. Throw it here. You can see how those blocks are kind of set up to go into the middle. I like to follow them. So just kind of had to take a look, you know, go to practice mode, check out this play, have a lot of fun with it. It's definitely something that um, can be used for those that are really interested in the Ravens playbook. Definitely check it out, you know, and see how you can use it with all the other stuff that we've done. Um, so I uh, wanted to bring it to you because I have a lot of fun with this play. Gets people thinking twice about dropping those zones back. Um, you know, just makes them think twice about running zone in general. So I uh, appreciate you guys. And we'll catch you on tomorrow's video.